Hey guys, it's Lane and Blake from Redefine Horizons, and this is the second video in the set of videos I'm doing to show you how we're going to resolve this boundary on this orchard parcel in, in Turtle, California. And in the last video, if you didn't watch that, we uh, created our search drawing. We have our points on our search drawing here, and we inserted our first map, and we're getting ready to insert the second map. But before we do that, um, it's always a good idea after you've got a map in place uh, kind of where you want it. Um, it's a good idea to uh, to label your anchor and rotation points. So I'm going to do that just with an M leader, and uh, this doesn't have to be fancy because uh, we actually do a result boundary drawing that where we dress all this up. So we just need to leave some notes for ourselves. So this is um, 0.525. So I'm going to say M525. I'm going to say anchor point for MP036088. Okay. And uh, that's really small. I think I'm working at a 20 scale. Okay, so that's just a note to myself there that, that I anchored this map to that monument. And then uh, we're going to do the same thing down here. Go ahead and call this out. This is M504. We held as our rotation point. <clears throat> okay, so we just got our notes, some notes for ourselves there. And then uh, one thing I didn't mention in the last video, you know, I'm, I'm missing this mon by a couple tenths here. And I think this one's a, a little less than a tenth. And um, uh, we do really good boundary surveys here. We try to. And so uh, we always tie our property corners out either with static GPS, if it's a large survey, or, or with a total station. And uh, I still tell people you're basically surveying with, you know, a tennis ball on the end of your rod, right? So. Um, basically, you know, you get in a situation here where I've held these two mons and this mons out two tenths that I found under the fence. So, and you got to make a decision here. You know, do you, do you hold this physical monument or do you hold the record measurements here? You know, do I move this line to this mon or not? And essentially, in a situation like this where I've got two good center line mons that, that fit really well, and I got this monument, you know, it was under the fence, might have got banged around a little bit, doesn't have a tag, and I found it within two tenths. Uh, I'm going to hold the record here. Right, um, I, I can't measure this good. You know, I can't measure good enough to call this monument out given all the circumstances. Um, and so I'm gonna go ahead and hold record there. Same thing here, found this monument within a tenth. You know, I'm not the kind of guy that comes over here and, and puts in another monument a tenth away. Right, I know I can't measure that good. So basically, for all, for all intents and purposes, I feel like this map uh, fits the boundary. You know, I didn't realize we found this monument down here. Let's go see. Okay, so here we, this is a problem. <laughs> <laughs> we got a monument that really doesn't fit. Um, that's that's a bummer. Uh, let's let's see what this is. So now this is a monument that was under the pavement, um, but I, I expected it to be closer than it was. So uh, let's just let's see what we're dealing with here. We may have to come back and revisit some of this. All right, so we got almost an even five feet there, uh, which tells me that that there's a uh, there's some kind of, uh, uh, either there's a, a, a another line here that's five feet off of this line where we found that monument, <clears throat> or it's a witness monument, or uh, my guys busted this distance by five feet, which is probably not likely. Um, so let's go look at this map, see if we can figure out what's going on, why this monument's five feet off. Now, I don't know if it was set on this map because I don't have a tag number, but uh, we can go look at it. So let's do that. And this is just part of resolving a boundary. You know, you find stuff like this and you gotta, you gotta figure it out. So let's go, uh, let's take a look at this map. Let's give it a minute to open here. Okay guys, so here's this subdivision map. Uh, this is our parcel here. North is over here on the left side of the page. So uh, we found these two center line mons. We anchored to this one. We held this one. This is the monument well with no monument in it. And then I think we found one of these back lots here. So, uh, but we've got this corner over here on Warring Road that, that doesn't fit uh, by five feet. And you'll notice, 
uh, he doesn't show anything here okay so he doesn't show anything as being uh, is being found or set. Now, off of that center line, he finds a, a monument that he uses only for line. Um, but he's, he's not showing anything set here. So, and I can check my, my folks' distance here. So, it looks like to me from this point here, that's 15, but from that point there, we're 1352.54. That's what my folks have in here. So yeah, I'm not sure what's going on here. Uh, maybe we'll get an answer when we look at this map to the south. Okay, so for now I'm gonna leave it. We just know I've got a question mark here on this monument. It doesn't fit by five feet. Okay, so let's go ahead and get our next map in here. Again, I'm gonna do that as a block. I'm gonna grab this map 39.8. And we will insert it. Okay, so here it is. I'm just going to move it close. Okay, so here's 39.8. And I am not sure what map this is. I do not know. So let's look at that map and see if we can figure out what map it is. Okay, here it is, 39.8. All right, so this um, this is our map to the south. So here's Warren Road. Okay, and here's that spot where we, we've got that monument that doesn't fit, right? So he says he found a PK nail and I, at the center line, and I actually have a pipe. Um, then there's an, another 10 feet here. Yeah, I just don't know where that where we're coming up with that 5 feet. That's just weird. Hmm. All right, well, we'll see what we can do. Okay, so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to try and place this. We've got these two centerline monuments here. So we're going to go ahead and grab this map. And I'm going to anchor it on this first centerline monument here. And as a general rule, I, I anchor using the point closest to my project and rotate to the point farthest away. Just usually gives you a better fit for your project. So then we're going to come down here and rotate. All right, we got a little bit of a distance gap there. So let's just see how big that is. That's less than a tenth. Okay. So that's all right there. <clears throat> okay, so now we got this map in. Now what that's going to give us is a <laughs> now we have two positions for this line this south line, right, based on the record. <clears throat> but you can see this answers my question, right? We, we found this monument here, um, w which lines up. Um, that lines up uh, with that 20-foot uh, right-of-way line. So we've got what, what the problem is, we've got multiple center lines over here on Warren Road. Okay, now the other issue I've got here is um, Depending on what monument I hold, uh, if, if I if I hold this mon and rotate here, I'm missing this monument over here. Okay, um, so if I rotate to this mon, I'm going to miss this monument down here. So no matter what, somebody's going to not be happy, right? Um, so we may be in a situation here where I can't hold record. Um, you know, and I don't know I don't know what that difference is, but let's uh, let's find out. Okay, so let's just see. So I've got one foot there between uh, holding the monument. So holding the monument versus uh, holding this record angle here. Okay. You can see it's a lot closer down here. Let's just see how this fits. Okay, that's a tenth. So uh, basically, this this guy's record angle uh, doesn't match uh, the, what I've got here when I when I look at these three monuments no. that line up, right? Or or these uh, these two monuments, this monument and uh, this line that we've got established here per record. Um, so I got to make a decision here about what to do. Um, now, fortunately, I got a, I got a pipe here with no tag, uh, which is which sucks. 
Um, and in theory, if I hold this monument, uh, you know, I could be shaving off a foot of these lots to the south. Um, let's try, let's just try something. Let's, um, we're going to uh, rotate here and we're going to rotate to this monument. Okay. And then uh, we're going to come down here and see how we fit down here. Sorry, this next one down. Yep. So let's see what we got. Yeah, foot. So either way, I got a foot. So uh, it's no good. Sometimes surveying is like this. So I think my solution is going to be um, I'm going to hold these center line mons, uh, and I think I'm going to break this guy's record angle here, and uh, I'm going to end up holding this monument. Um, it's good for distance. Um, yeah, I got to think about that some more. I mean, I, I don't love it, but um, you know, I, I know there's a fence out here, and I, I know that wood fence lines up pretty close with the monument because I was actually out at the monument. But yeah, there's there's about a one foot. There's a, so what, what this is, folks, is uh, we got a one foot overlap with the record compared to the found mon here, right? Um, even though this is this mon is not of record, um, nope, it is of record. He found an iron pipe there where I found an iron pipe. The uh, the only problem is I don't have a tag, but that's that's probably the, the pipe this guy found. So I just don't agree with his angle here. And you know, a foot's more than a more than a tenth or two. So in that situation, you know, it's probably not my measurement error. I'm, I'm closer than a foot. I'm probably going to hold that monument, but uh, we don't have to worry about that in the search drawing. Okay. So and again, my team's doubling these up. So let's uh, let's get rid of this duplicate line work here. All right, so surveying is not always super clean the way you want. Okay, so we've got a we've got good, pretty good line work here. We got we got a little issue with that corner that we got to figure out. So I'll stop this video, and uh, we got one more map to do. Then we got to look at some deed stuff. All right. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it.